There is still, in 2019, no car that can compete with the Model S of 2012. It's seven years later. Still waiting. Well, after seven years, the wait is over and the Model S now has an electric sedan that it can compete with. Elon has already taken jabs at Porsche on Twitter, even saying that a Model S will be heading over to the Nürburgring to try and beat the Taycan's lap record, which has been a strong selling point for Porsche. It has proven as much on the Nürburgring Nordschleife, where it achieved a sensational lap time of 7 minutes 42 seconds only. Which means the Taycan is the sportiest electric car in its class. No matter how you feel about the Taycan, competition like this is good. Up until now, automakers have avoided competing directly with the Model S by developing EVs in different categories like mid-size SUVs, crossovers, small hatchbacks, and pickup trucks. The Taycan, though, that was designed to compete with the Model S. When the prototype made its debut in 2015 as the Mission E, Porsche promised things like 300 miles of range, 350 kilowatt charging, and speed, all in a very stunning package. At the time, the 2015 Tesla Model S P90D did 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds and had a range of just 270 miles. Many were saying Tesla was in trouble, but now the official Taycan specs are here. For starters, it looks incredible. It looks like a Porsche, but at $150,000 to $185,000, it is well above the price of any Tesla. And that's before dealership markups and additional options. Basic options like automatic cruise control, enhanced audio, and folding mirrors will easily push the Taycan over $200,000. This is Porsche though, which has many loyal customers that aren't exactly economical. But in reality, after someone decides that they want a Taycan over a Tesla, they will then need to decide if they want a Taycan over a flagship 911 or a Ferrari. With 750 horsepower under launch control and overboost, the Taycan Turbo S beat expectations with a 0-60 time of 2.6 seconds. It may be slower than a Model S, but Porsche states that it's repeatable performance. Either way, it's an insanely fast four-door sedan. But then again, it's kind of expensive. Despite revealing the range, the Taycan's real-world range is still a mystery. They're claiming a max WLTP range of 280 and 256 miles. Audi, which has the same parent company, lists the e-tron with a WLTP range of 255 miles, but the EPA range is 20% less at 204. If that happens to Taycan, it could have less range than a standard Model 3, which might be a little embarrassing. CNBC, though, says that Porsche executives expect around 250 EPA miles, so for range, we'll have to wait and see. The top speed and battery come at no surprise, but Porsche did fall short of its ambitious 350 kilowatt charging speed. At 270 though, it's faster than Tesla, but finding these stations won't be as easy as finding a supercharger. Also, advertising that it can charge to 80% in 22 minutes is a bit misleading because a Taycan at 80% is closer to a Model S at 50 to 60%. What surprised me most though was the weight. The Model S is already an extremely heavy car, but with a smaller battery pack and that hot lap around the Nürburgring, I was expecting the Taycan to be lighter. So Porsche has a lot of work to do. This is their first electric car and like the Model S, it will get better. As a part of the Volkswagen group, Porsche has access to a lot of technology. Remember, the first Android after the iPhone looked like this. Competition drives innovation, which will only push both companies to improve. There are many things Tesla needs to work on, and now electric cars sound cool. The Taycan sounds like something from Star Wars. Too bad that's a $500 option though. 
In the end, the Porsche Taycan is a cool moment for the auto industry. It validates EV technology and forces consumers to think even harder about electric cars, especially when they see the greatest car brands in the world fall short to Tesla. So, which would you rather own, the Model S or the new Porsche Taycan? Comment down below. Also, please consider subscribing and helping the channel out with a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.